Good afternoon, students. <coughs> Last week, we started playing mirrors, and we were able to finish playing mirrors. And today, we are going to look at curved mirrors. Curved mirrors. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to know images formed by curved mirrors. Images formed by curved mirrors. And uh, the two main types of curved mirrors, concave and convex. The mirrors we have treated so far are plain mirrors and we are going to upgrade our studies into curved mirrors. And when we say curved mirrors, there are mirrors formed from a spherical glass. Mirrors, as I said, they are mirrors formed from spherical glass, in which part of the sphere is cut and the mirror is made out of that. And if the shiny face is the inside in which the silver coat is at the outside, then it becomes concave mirror. And if the outer part is the shiny in which the silver is coated inside, then we have convex mirror. Good. Before we can study curved mirrors, we need some terminologies. Terminologies we are going to use to study curved mirrors. The first one I want us to look at it will be what we call the pool. And the pole is the center of the mirror. The pole is the center of the mirror. For example, if you have this as our concave mirror, then if you are considering this as the center, then it becomes what we call the pole of the mirror. Two, another terminology we shall also need Another technology we shall also need will be what we call center of curvature. Center of, center of curvature. Which we use letter C, capital letter C, to represent center of curvature. Like I said earlier, curved mirrors are formed from a sphere. And the sphere, of course, is having a center somewhere. Provided this is a concave mirror, and the center of the sphere from which the mirror forms part, that is C, is what we call the center of curvature of the mirror. The next terminology we will need, let me call this one uh, aperture. The aperture is the surface of the mirror. So when you say a mirror with a large aperture, means the mirror with a very large surface. If the mirror with a very small aperture means a mirror with a small surface. Three. Let's also talk about principal focus. Before I come to principal focus, let me talk about principal axis first. Principal. Axis. Principal axis. This is a line drawn to join the center of curvature and the pool. If here is the pool, and if you draw a line through the center of curvature and then the pool, and 
this slide is what you call principal axis. Principal axis. A line through the center of curvature in the pool. Okay. So if you cry, start to cry, Kevin, I don't cry, all the different colors, but you're back, you know. Mm. In a line, not a different color, yeah, not just it.